Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today is mostly just a chit-chat day. Not too much useful information. Kind of just saying hi to you guys. The editor's back, so you'll get a fancy intro and a nice little um, thumbnail. Uh, yeah, I have this other thing that I think I'm going to work on over the weekend, maybe. So someone asked me yesterday, how many troop tiers or how many, how many rounds of attacks is there for troops? And I said six, assuming you have a critical march and you're sending six types of troops, you get six, six rounds. But I tested this. I tested this. Technically, not true. So, I sent one cav to this poor little farm here. I don't know if I can find the battle report, but we can always do it again. Ha 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 ha. Dunk. And, um, so we don't fill up his hospital. Let's just not include Fluffy. I don't know. But let's include some good heroes. Without Fluffy. Now, you guys are going to end up seeing my stats. I don't like showing my stats. Not because, you know, I like hiding them. I just, you know, the game is only money. So showing stats just basically reflects how much you've paid in the game. And I just don't see any value in that. But, um, yeah, so let's hope that this does the same thing that it did earlier. Okay. Less kills, which I think he probably will appreciate, but zoom, 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 zoom past all that. Um, what do we got going on here? So, very interesting. Brutus, no kills. Damage from Glory Holus, no kills. Hmm. Okay. But... Now here's the deal. How many rounds was there? Remember, we sent one, but we ended up wounding one, two, and three. Three rounds. So in this case, you know, we can say, okay, there was three rounds of attacks. And if I would have sent the dragon, this would have probably been around like six or 10,000 wounded and more rounds. But it got me curious. I was like, wait a second. This doesn't actually go with what I expected because what I thought what I thought is that my troops attack only one time but here's the deal I think his troops are attacking my troops and when his troops attack my troops they get like a counter attack and I think that's where this is coming from so if you send six and they send six and they match, I think, six rounds. If you send T13 and they don't send T13, and so you're six and they're six, that's maybe nine rounds. And if you are hitting somebody's house and you're really putting in the work on them, well, I mean, up to 40 rounds. I think this is how it works. I mean, it's English. We, we don't really know. Um, but yeah, I was kind of mistaken on this. And I don't think this is the case of one bow, you know, damage carrying over to the next tier. I don't think that's the case. I don't think that the sum of the damage for the bottom just continues up. Because if it did, I think that we would kill a lot more T2. So the T2 infantry is, the, you know, the first one to basically get nuked. And um, I think I wounded all those earlier. So this isn't the best example of that. I'd have to go find that report. But anyway, you guys can figure out. I mean, you can see, you know, what's what's happening here. So I basically started at the T3 scrappers and then, um, you know, hit some light crossbowmen and then the double crossbowmen. So you can kind of see the order of attack here. Now, okay, let me back up. So we can see the order of attack, but I think, I really do think that this is counterattack and I don't think that this is... Um, anything else. 
And when the counterattack happens, I think it normally happens against infantry, and that's why infantry doesn't kill stuff. Do you see where I'm going with this? Hopefully you guys understand. This is kind of like an advanced tutorial. But let's get back into the chit-chat um, of what's going on. And uh, dear Fun Plus, Chit Plus developers, um, pretty please. I mean, like, we just played Nether Fall. I would like a screen to, like, see my ranking. Maybe. Or, like, previous battles. Maybe. I mean, like, I can look at the battle log. So let's look at the battle log. And, um, yeah, that's a real lot of useful information there. But, um, shout out to you guys in 558. You guys are a funny bunch, a little bit salty, um, but, you know, hey, why not? So, yeah, I don't know if we're going to be top 100. I don't know. We were, like, 143 before, but the game doesn't have a very good interface for this, so we're just kind of left guessing. And in other news, if we actually want to see other things, we have to go over here to Kingdom Chat and then click on this, and then we can see. Because the other way to get to this interface, I think, is blocked until the event rewards are sent. Something like that. This is stupid. But hey, I mean, you know, wonderful Chinese developers. I'm kind of curious, though. So part of the reason that I'm making this video is I'm kind of curious. Who do you think is going to win? MKK or Insider Coco? Which one? Yeah. Hey, would you believe me if I told you that L has spent a million dollars in this game? A million real money. Would you believe me? And if she had spent a million, why isn't her stats higher? I mean, her stats are respectable. She's got a lot of power. Where did the money go? Mm hmm. And, you know, some of the other favorites. I was a little bit surprised that um, that Adama uh, actually beat these guys. But I was even more surprised that these guys even exist. I mean, like, for real. I mean, they just, they're what, like, 781 Kingdom? Like, when did that come out? Like, months ago? That's crazy. And they have, what, four or five SH-45s? Hmm. I mean, yeah. So... That's a thing. But um, who do you think is going to win between um, Insider Coco and M MKK? Do you guys think MKK is an insider too? I mean, you know, drop a comment. What do you think? I don't know. I don't really have any opinion on it right now. I'll let you guys, to, you know, noodle on that one. But there we go. So hopefully a little bit of useful information in terms of troop rounds and... A little bit of chit chat with Netherfall. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. And um, yeah, that's all for now. Doodly Pipsky.